Hey everyone, so in this tutorial we will create this Oloid. It's a very interesting yeah, geometric object and yeah, here we have a yeah, mathematical sketch or something. So super simple, super fun, let's create a new file. And let's go to the top view and create a circle with a value x, so something like 200. And right click and shift D for duplicate and drag with G the second one and control click, snap it here to the one quarter intersection, right click, press R and also rotate it here 90 degrees. So we have exactly this sketch here. And now very simple, we have to go here to the front view or first of all, let's create a line with shift A snap it on this end and we can snap now finally here to tangent so that's amazing so this is perfect and we have to do the same on on the other side so go to this one quarter and just snap it here on the tangent so we have something like that and now we just have to cut a few lines um, away so create a new line from here to here and press T for trim command and just trim everything here away. Exactly. So we will just need this curve and this curve here. So let's do the same shift A and just drag it um, here across the circle and press T and just here trim everything away. And we have something like that and we can start to loft that. But if we love that, you see we have here a rounding, but that shouldn't be the case. You see here everywhere it's, it's straight. So for that, we will just add a guiding line at this point here at the three quarter. So from the center point from here and also we can perfectly snap it here. So we can loft now those two curves and shift you see from from that perspective we see that we will squeeze it kind of with shift click and tell it hey surface let be straight and do what i want so yeah <laughs> something like that okay and basically you can delete all curves and tap object mode alt x for mirror and bring it to the other side right click and again alt x and this time to the bottom and we are almost done because no object in the real life has such a sharp corner so let's fix that as well and again very simple first of all select everything from right to left and press join so so we have one solid body and now go first here to this one side and create a corner rectangle snap it here on the edge press C and just create something very, very thin and go around this corner where it's, 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 it's flowing into this uh, flat surface. And let's take this and shift one. So, or for you, um, so, and now we have to imprint. So for me, it's shift one, but for you, it's maybe you have to search it with F and search for imprint. But yeah, one of the most important commands for surface modeling. So I have it on shift one. So shift I very fast um, to use. Uh, yeah, below this video, you find also PDF with all of my shortcuts and everything about surface modeling. Super important. So imprint and select the surface. And if we see the edges, we see we have now this imprint here and just with three face modes, select those extra faces shift x to delete it and let's take this curve and go to the top view and with g drag that out a little bit and rotate this one as well 90 degrees and again shift one or imprint onto the surface delete this curve and delete all of those little extra faces with shift x and now very cool and now the beautiful part, edge mode with two, alt click to select all edges and just patch it 
and press tab. And you see, it looks absolutely beautiful. So press OK, Shift E and yeah, look, perfect transition. And also here on that side, the same. So just get the edge with Alt click, patch it, press once tab. So everything is G1 and continuous and press OK. And let's check out here our zebra and guys, look, this is so, so, so smooth and beautiful. So plasticity is just fun. And yeah, if you want to learn much more about surface modeling, I have an amazing PDF with super valuable information and all of my shortcuts. So you can follow along in all of my tutorials. Check it out. First link in the description. And yeah, so check out my next video where we will dive deeper into surface modeling. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye.